Senna. Pals! We just got done watching Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes here at IMAX headquarters. As you can see, the big IMAX logo behind us. I want to say right off the rip that uh, this is a confidently beautiful and powerful movie. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite Planet of the Apes films. I am so, so close to saying that it's my favorite Planet of the Apes film. Really? Very, very close. I know that's a, a big thing to say. Yeah. Um, and I'll try to explain why. But first, I want to give you a chance to say your thoughts. I thought it was really, really nicely done. I enjoyed the introduction of the new characters. This movie takes place after War of, for the Planet of the Apes, yeah. in which we know that Caesar, our favorite character, well, my favorite character, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's also for you guys, but he's dead. We have a whole new crew of people and uh, they did a really great job of creating some new characters that I ended up really liking and caring about by the end of the movie. 20 minutes into the film, I was like, this is actually really good. This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. And I think that probably is informing my opinion because I did not have high expectations for the movie. Mm -hmm. I saw the trailer, I'm like, do we really need another Planet of the Apes? Same. And, and the movie was like, <laughs> yes, you do. It was very much worthwhile, the whole adventure of it. Let me try to give you guys a quick rundown without any spoilers of what you're going to encounter in this story. This takes place several generations after war for the planet of the apes. You're following a whole new clan. Uh, it's been splintered, like all of the uh, groups that came from war of the planet of the apes have splintered off into different factions. And so this is an evolution many generations later of apes that are very far removed from the story that we are familiar with from the trilogy before. So we're following one particular ape, Noah, and he ends up discovering some things that turn his world upside down. He goes on an adventure, meets new apes, new, you know, you've seen the trailer, and it is a crazy wild adventure with amazing action, amazing story, amazing moments. Amazing characters. Amazing characters. Yeah, I think that the only thing I didn't like in this film was that I was uh, sitting next to a, a shirt wipe. That's unfortunate. He wouldn't stop eating. And there was like that first emotional moment in the movie. The yeah, first it's, one. It starts and off. when that was happening, that first emotional moment, I saw him eating string cheese. And I'm just like, bruh, how can you possibly be eating string cheese at a moment like this? I was like, I was ready to cry. And every time I was ready to cry, this dude was eating string cheese or something and munching and tapping his head. You know, like, oh, I, I, I'm so sorry. That's what you get for not sitting next to me. However, watching it on IMAX allows you the, the biggest version of this movie possible. Now, for a while, I've wondered what is the point of IMAX if it's not going to fill up the entire screen. And this is the first time where I was like, I finally get it. It's that you get to watch it on the biggest screen possible. Even though it's not filling up the whole frame, it's still a huge screen, you yeah. know? And it's very immersive in a way that you're not gonna get on a regular screen. For that, I would recommend it. Yeah, I, I thought it was really cool just to be able to see the apes up close and personal. We were in different seats. Yeah. Achara was like- I was like <laughs> yeah. so close to the front, yeah. but I liked it. I think my favorite thing about the movies, it's gotta be the apes, right? I'm full on team ape all the way. Being able to see just the amount of work that they put into the CGI to really get the expressions and everything and like the mocap actors were doing such a great job and I was like I'm I'm there I care about these apes mm -hmm. I I want them to succeed and like I love them yeah you know I was invested almost right away in in their journey in their story in these characters you know a lot of the movie does not actually have dialogue and this is such a interesting companion film because we just watched Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. And so watching this right after, it's so fascinating because both are set many years after our current world, right? True, Looking true. at two completely different uh, uh, paths that uh, our lives or humanity could have taken. And so seeing this version of it, it got me a lot more than I was expecting it to. There were so many more emotional moments than I was anticipating. And like, I was really feeling for our main character Noah and his clan and everything he was trying to do. Like you said a moment ago, the mocap acting was powerful. Uh, it, was, it was so believable. I would say 85 to 90% of the movie, I was buying into the CGI. There was like a 10, 15% of it where I was like, I can tell that CG, it just looks a little bit cartoony to me, but I am like a persnickety viewer. And yes. so with being a persnickety viewer like myself and still being able to buy into like 85 to 90% of it, I'd say that's a 
that's amazing. That's great for me, you know? Yeah, and I think I loved this new character, Noah. Mm -hmm. He was, he just had so many layers to him. He was vulnerable, he was sweet, he was strong, he was smart and brave, mm -hmm. and everything that you want a protagonist to be. Yeah. And I think he's very much a, a worthy successor to our favorite chimp. Yeah, yeah. it almost, you know, I had this fleeting thought, and hopefully this doesn't rub people the wrong way. I had this fleeting thought that it almost feels like if Neil Druckmann made a Planet of the Apes film, Naughty Dog's Last of Us, or uh, not, yeah, Last of Us director. Not gonna lie, a lot of the set, yeah, it really did remind me of the Last of Us. Yeah, though. it looked very similar. Which, which makes sense because Last of Us is, you know, again set well after our what, our current modern day, you know, life that we are used to and a you know, what we are accustomed to, right? And so this is after the world has fallen apart. Yeah. And and so there's this sort of interesting reflection of what humanity was well after, for the most part, humanity has disappeared. And that's fascinating to look at, you know, uh, to, to see glimpses and fragments of history that still remain somehow and have survived generations later. It's very, very, very cool. And to see these uh, apes, this clan that is discovering stuff for the first time, many generations removed, it's like you are discovering it with them. You know, even though you as the audience have privileged knowledge, you are still like discovering it with them in a first person kind of way. Yeah, and, and not only that, I was just really fascinated by the apes themselves, like their culture and everything. Like how with this increased intelligence, they have formed clans and societies and how that all worked. Mm -hmm. And it was just so interesting and fascinating to watch. Yeah. You know, the, the pacing of the film was very interesting because in this day and age, there is this compulsion to make everything fast paced and like cut, 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 action, 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 you know, crazy angles all the time. This film was very confident and it knew exactly the story it was trying to tell and it told it very, very well. Um, it wasn't rushing any scenes. It was taking its time it, and it goes to places and it stays there for a while and it stays there just long enough and then it moves on to the next thing. And it allows you to get so invested in all these different aspects. It leaves you wanting more each time. You're like, no, but don't let that happen just yet. Oh, but don't let that happen just yet. And then it moves on to the next thing. I mean, I mean this all in a positive way, by the way. Yeah, I mean, conversely, I think for me, at times I did find it a bit slow, but I think that might be a product of the exact thing that you said, which is I'm nowadays so used to seeing things have to move so quickly. So in some ways it was refreshing that it was like just taking its time. And, and sometimes I was like, oh, this is really great. Like I'm enjoying all of the scenery and the acting and the story that's going on here. And then sometimes I was like, can we move on to some action now, Oh, please? I loved it. I, I loved the whole thing. I mean, this is such a great year for films, dude, because totally. you got Dune Part 2. I can't say anything about it, but Furiosa. And then this. I'm like, damn, what a year. What a year, man. What a time to be alive to have it's such It's not great even movies. been half the year. I know, to be fair. but still, like, what a year so far. Yeah. This is such a great movie. And, it, like, to think I was just sort of, sort of blowing it off, I was like, I was kind of intrigued by the trailers, you know? It looked cool and all that, but it's just like, why? And then. Well, yeah, I think coming, you know, coming off of the third one, it was kind of like, okay, that felt like an ending. Yeah. And so, why bother continuing? Yeah. And then they were like, no, this is why. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, it's lovely. so interesting. Um, and you have our, our human actress here. Uh, I can't remember her Freya name. Freya Allen. Freya Allen. You know, I was prepared to dislike her because uh, I was, I saw her, like, again, I'm seeing her in the trailer. I'm like, why? And I had questions that I raised. And I think that the film did an all right job of explaining things. Uh, and I actually liked her a lot more than I thought I would. She did a very nice job with the acting. Um, her character was interesting and compelling. And so, you I'm know. still team apes, though. Yeah. <laughs> and so the, the writing was actually quite strong, in my opinion. Again, I love the slow pace where it slows down. It's not a slow pace movie, in my opinion, because it, it keeps moving. It's just that it lingers in places. And I, I thought that was nicely done. I want to shout out the music. Yeah. The score was 
great. And what made it even cooler was that there were uh, nods to the original Planet of the Apes soundtrack. Like there are certain sounds and instruments and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just like the original. <laughs> and so, you know, the film has you asking questions, like really good questions, especially if you have are familiar with the whole Planet of the Apes like world, you know, from the older films and whatnot. You're asking certain questions in your mind, like, who is this girl? Where did she come from? Like, why, 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 why? You know, and that's the great thing about the movie is it has you asking questions all along the way, like, who's that? Why? And it kind of answers all of them by the end of the film, but you're just like, I don't know, it, it just had me captivated because of that, you know? Yeah, and there were nice nods to the earlier films as well, while standing confidently on its own. It works. If you've never seen a Planet of the Apes movie... Well, it catches you up at the beginning. It catches you up at the beginning, yeah. and then because this is a new story that doesn't really need to rely on the old stuff apart from what they tell you, mm -hmm. It works on its own. So whether you're like a massive fan who's been watching them since the beginning or if you just decided you want to get into it, mm. I think it's suitable for everyone. Yeah, I would agree with that. It's definitely like, I'd say it's a, a film you can take the whole family to for sure. Yeah. You know, uh, I, it's, it's surprising to think about because, you know, it's such a powerful film that it feels like a grown up movie. Um, but it's just because the themes are very universal and like, I don't know, I feel like it's something we can all connect with. Yeah. You know, I mean, at, at its core, what it's dealing with is family. Yeah. You know, and in a, in a very, very impactful way. And so I strongly recommend it. I think it's a, one of the best films of the year easily. And I'm happy to say that because I did not have any expectations for this. I can't get over that because I'm watching it and I'm like, geez, Louise, like this is such a great movie, like 20, 30 minutes. And I'm like, I really hope they don't drop the ball. And honestly, like, I'm not going to say what happens, but like towards the end of the film, I was like, you got to be kidding me. This doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you? And then they answer the questions. And I was like, oh, oh, that's why. Th okay. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm the one who should like just like pause that thought calm and down just like just go with the film for a second and and, and pass judgment afterwards trust it, the process yeah because it, it answers all your questions even things that you think are like dumb it'll answer all the questions by the end and it all makes sense i'm like okay so i love this film stronger recommendation watch it on imax yes go watch it it's my birthday yeah <laughs>